his fifth clean sheet of the year and seventh win. Zach, congratulations. Um, tell us, walk us through it tonight. They challenged you a few times. You came up big. Yeah, I thought uh, overall what a great team performance. Uh, clearly building off a, a huge win in Montreal. I thought we really all put it together, um, getting three different goal scorers, three unbelievable goals, uh, team goals, and another shutout for uh, the guys in front of me, which is huge. Zach, I just love John, down to your right hand side. You got your daughter with you. Um, just the the important. Let's go family for a second. There we go. How incredible is it to be able to bring your daughter on the field and just kind of celebrate these moments? He looks like a girl, but this oh, is Jameson. Sorry. No, he's My good. Bad. He gets that all the time. But uh, no, he loves this. Uh, it's a late night for him every time he comes to the game, but uh, it's a lot happier when he gets to run on the field with me. Hey, so walk me through a game like this. You come up with three fantastic saves. I was saying the header save down to your right maybe might have been the most difficult because of the trajectory, the power, and the skip off the surface. Which one was the big one for you tonight? Yeah, that one sticks out. Um, you know, it's just you never know when it comes off a guy's head which way it's going. You really have to stay balanced, and uh, thankfully I stayed balanced and got a good push off it. Hey, Zach, you've been in this league now for 12 years. You've played in some spots like Colorado and Vancouver, Philly as well. What do you make of both the locker room you're part of right now and the chemistry and the cohesion on this team, but also the 12th man here in the atmosphere, six straight sellouts now at Rio Tinto? Yeah, the fans bring everything, uh, and we know that. And I think other teams coming to play here know that as well. Uh, this is going to be a very hard to place to play this year, especially with the team that we have, the mentality that we have, the togetherness that I think we feel not just in the team and in the locker room, but the sense of community around the stadium as well. Uh, just in terms of, of the way that Pablo has created the atmosphere, um, I know it's difficult over the course of the season, right? You have a lot of different personalities. You got highs, you got lows, you got celebratory situations, and you got frustrating situations. H how do you describe what Pablo and his staff are creating on a, on, on, a, on a daily basis to create this type of environment for you guys? Yeah, it starts with Pablo and the culture that he set in preseason. Uh, and everyone knows his personality and how, how positive and energetic it is. And then it goes to the captains like Marcelo and Demir, you know, really setting the tone in preseason. And Pablo lets us be us. And, you know, some days, you know, we're not on it and he drives us to keep going. And that's when uh, players got to step up and, and really continue to push the, el the envelope with our team. And that's what you're seeing. I mean, every game we're getting better. And I think that's uh, the mentality going forward. Uh, Zach, go be a dad. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good <laughs> Thanks, night. Zach. Congrats, man. Thank there you me. go. Zach McMath with us here on the postgame show. He gets his fifth clean sheet of the night tonight. RSL's got 25 points in its first 14 matches. Wow. That matches the fastest club to uh, club start.